Hi, this is Dave Knight here at Knight Capital Management. Today is Thursday, March 25th, 2010. Uh, let's look at our statement from yesterday because we had a we, first day of multiple market trading. I would mentioned that we were wanted to start back at $3,000. Uh, $3, we had a $320.25 day, finished at $3,335. Uh, we picked off $300 in on one contract in crude oil. We picked off 31 and a quarter on the ZB 30-year Treasury bond, netting uh, 331 and a quarter, less 11 dollars in commission, six for the uh, crude oil, five for the 30-year uh, bond, and that's us 320 and a quarter. Finishes uh, the we or excuse me the day at 3,335 dollars. So once again, starting at the 3,000 mark here, and see how quick we can get the 4,000. On multiple market trading, so it's going to be kind of fun in that sense. Uh, let's see here. We want to talk about the um, pay mess and kicking in here a little bit. Apologize, I, my back is. Uh, I threw my back out last night coaching, and it, it's really, and I'm in a lot of pain right now. But um, with that being said, what I want to do here is uh, 8:30 unemployment claims a little better than expected there. Federal Chairman Bernanke is testifying here at 10 a.m. Emergency Federal Reserve Liquidity Program and Economic Recovery in front of the House Financial Services Committee today. Natural gas storage in the first day of the EU Economic Summit, and also a red report here. Heads of state from the European Union countries and ECB president are due to meet about economic growth and unemployment in Brussels. The, and also talk about the Greek economic situation, although not an official agenda will be discussed as well. So some some kind of craziness going on in the market. And then this afternoon you see we've got Treasury Secretary Gettner speaking. Today is also the seven-year Treasury note auction as well. Uh, let's see here. March 25th, seven-year note Treasury auction today. Tentative to go off. And you might be able to apply that to the SSM trading strategy that I have as well. So without further ado, I'm going to stop recording here and I'm going to be more of a lurker today. I want to put Gary in charge today if he's ready. All right, our gold trade today that we took in the room, we uh, entry point was 188.9 or 8. We had a profit objective of, of 185.9, and or you could have been on top of this at 184.9, so three or four points down. That would translate to $300 or $400, by the way, $10 a point. Your uh, stop loss, two points above this, or you could have looked at this line right here. One of the things that I noticed on this trade, let me just throw this out here. When I was looking at this at a 15-minute line, it was pretty clear that the market had some resistance right here on the the 50 bar line was translating to uh, 1091 so you could have come off two ticks above that by the way if you really wanted to and look at 1091.2 stop so but outside of that you know your normal profit a stop or excuse me your normal stop loss was was beautiful it did not run it and it gave us an opportunity to at least get to break even and take a couple bucks away from the market before it turned on us. So uh, I, I think this has a lot to do with Bernanke speaking today. When the market turned, he was talking about a tighter dollar. And about five minutes after he was talking about that, the dollar index just fell off. Or did it go, oh, excuse me, did it go up? No, it was going up. It was going up at that time. See, pain mans have kicked in now. And then you obviously see what's done now. It's kind of reversed that course. But it was going up roughly about the same time. And then I forget how. Anyway, so when the, I think the dollar index, excuse me, dollar index was maybe coming down. Yeah, excuse me. <laughs> dollar index was coming down here. And then this is when gold started deciding that it wanted to go zoom in on the other, other direction. If we switch this over back to five minutes right here. There you go. Now you can see it a little bit better. You can see where the crosshairs are over the dollar index. 
and the gold. And the same about the same time that it started going down, dollar index, gold was going up. So you can see what Gary was talking about there, that relationship. About the same time too, while we're closing out that trade, the euro decided that it wanted to go up. Look at this too. Look at how the dollar index and the euro moved lockstep and still obviously moving lockstep. It's like looking at a mirror, right? Kind of interesting how you can look at that mirror in different ways. So that's some good information today. Nice trading on Gary's part. Even if it was a break-even trade, I wouldn't have done any. I would have done the same thing today. I would have looked for the exit door. It would have been a time stop for me because we were in this trade an awful long time waiting for it to do anything, and it finally moved our direction. So I'd be willing to just take whatever the market gives me at that point. So excellent trading on Gary's part today. Uh, thanks for running the room for me today. I appreciate that. I don't see any other questions in the room today, so we're going to break early, and I'm going to rest my back. And we'll see you all on Monday. By the way, those that I did throw it out, throw, uh, I was at batting practice yesterday, and I don't know what the hell I did, but it just uh, hurts like the dickens today. So I'm on my, I have not have a real bad back, but occasionally I'll throw it, and then I get an adjustment, which I'm going to get an adjustment today. I should be fine by Monday. We'll see you all on uh, Monday morning then, Monday morning being the 29th of March. We're going to keep the same room hours next week. April 6th is when we'll start going early again. We'll start looking at the markets a little bit early after the April 6th, after we get through Easter, Good Friday and Easter weekend. Uh, Tuesday, April 6th, when we'll start going an hour early, open the room up at 8 a.m. Eastern time instead of 9 a.m. We'll see you next week. Have a good weekend. Talk to you later. Bye now.